Captain Balls! Kilted died in the middle of the game song. You actually were leading the Kilted Balls part of it this time. I was excited. <laughs> well, welcome I back, you everybody. There. Yeah, I, I was. I threw you off. I did an extra da da. <laughs> Messed yeah, you all up. Yeah, made me laugh. <laughs> well, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Kilted Balls podcast. We're so glad to have you here. This is our two hundredth episode. Two hundred. Yes. Two hundred. That is super awesome. Yeah. Did you ever think we'd hit two hundred? I didn't give it any thought, honestly. I did. I wasn't I did tied <laughs> to any outcome. It's... The, the exciting part is, I mean, we talked about doing different things. We talked about maybe having some guests and things like that. But honestly, I think this works out really well. I, I just a little bit of reflection. I mean, two hundred is a huge number. It's we did some where we were doing there was a phase there where we were doing more than one a week so yes, yes. we're not at quite four years but you were just looking at it we're over three right yeah so three years um was i think july so i think three yeah. years was in july so <laughs> july right august september and we're coming into october now so you know it's just over three years mm. 200 yeah. episodes that's that's pretty good i think not counting interviews not counting minis mm -hmm. tiktoks all of yeah. that so no that's yeah i like you which der like had no preconceived like notions like i was like hey we're gonna do this and mm -hmm. hopefully we keep doing it and hopefully it's a lot of fun and uh you know super glad we did mm -hmm. super glad it's still going strong yeah I'm Hmm? Heck yeah. <laughs> Just have a great time where I'm really enjoying it. I love getting on, you know, once a week and hanging out. And, and obviously we hang out other times as well, but this is fun to it kind is. of share our thoughts and, and yeah, people, people listen. And so I'm curious, you, you said a little bit about reflection. I think this is a good time to do reflection. 200 is kind of an arbitrary number, you know, but I think it's always good to kind mm -hmm. of like reflect and go back. So one of the purposes when I started this was I kind of wanted to have like a, uh, almost like a living diary, right? So, yeah, you know, that people could go back, they could listen and see like what I had gone through or what I had <laughs> been through. We've talked about that a lot. And I feel like we've done it. I feel like we've yes. gotten better. I feel like our early episodes, we kind of did that, but we were so focused on our kilted ball or our, our uh, crypto and our NFTs that we we didn't give a lot of our mm -hmm. feelings and thoughts and then I felt like the last hundred episodes we've done a lot of that and we still have episodes mm -hmm. like last week that are totally random or whatever but mm -hmm. I think we've had a lot where it's got like a message or a thought process and you know so I feel like we've been doing what you know I wanted to set out what about you feels reflecting back 200 episodes yeah that was kind of in the same boat when we first started it was just to kind of share our thoughts and 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 we were doing a lot of crypto then we were doing a lot of the nfts so that's kind of where it started like hey you know we're in this a lot you know people probably want to hear this but especially as the bull market comes and and we weren't strictly that, so I don't think it was a big shift because we talked about a lot of different things, but we did shift into kind of more of what's going on, our personal growth, and I think that helps a lot more people. And you, I mean, well, what episode 199 was hilarious. It was, re I thought it was really, really <laughs> funny, but many of our older episodes, like we've said before, it's not really worth it to go back and listen. They're kind of dated, but probably right around that hundred mark i don't really know exactly where it was like where we were focusing more on that on you know other things to kind of help others rather than it, it, something outside of just nft and crypto right because right. we could you know there was a lot of people if they were paying attention they could have made some good moves or maybe they didn't and they yeah. didn't make bad moves or or they could have so. lost tons with bad moves mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah. But I, I think kind of our journey and other things is is interesting to people and um you know, I think it's it's a great time. Yeah, and a lot's happened in three years. Right? Mm-hmm. Like we were we had just come out of COVID, right? Yeah. Isn't that kind of around that time? Like we had just gotten out of COVID when we started and you know, cripe AI wasn't even a thing back then. Like, <laughs> yeah, not really at all. And now AI is like going crazy. Um, well, remember that one sketch pad? I mean, look at what the eye. I mean, I bet you could find uh, AI that could do better drawings from what. Remember the doodle that you did? That yes. was fun. Yes, right? Like, well, and even like now. So, like, I was teaching myself, and I don't know if people, if you're new, you don't know this, but people who've been here since the beginning, like, I taught myself how to code to make generative um, NFTs, right? Like I went Mm -hmm. through the process and like, you know, kind of like did it the hard way. And I'm laughing at myself because that was fun and it was a good time. But like now I wouldn't go and Google how to do that. I would just go to my AI and be like, hey, help me out. I need to write a program Mm -hmm. that'll do this, right? Yeah. Like, and that's kind of crazy that we've, gone like so far from that like you know people used to like want to make apps and struggle to make apps and now the ai will make whatever app you want it to make so Mm -hmm. side hustle there people side hustle if you have ideas Mm -hmm. now's the time to make an app to do your idea right yeah um we've been published for those of you didn't know we put it out on our twitter and stuff and it's in our discord but our second journal came out on Amazon, so it's a biblical journal. So it takes a lot of Bible quotes, you know, for its for its uh, what would you call it? its inspiration, right? Yep. Which is you know, it's one of those things. There's so many you and I've talked about this before. There's so many good messages mm-hmm. in the Bible, and it's important for people to recognize the message in whatever you're doing. It's the message that's important not yeah. the vessel. And I think people get tied up in things like, you know, our, our buddy who's a big listener, right? Like he gets tied up into like, I mm-hmm. don't do religion. I don't do religion. Well, that doesn't mean you shouldn't mm-hmm. listen to some of the messages, right? Like some yeah, of the exactly. messages are, are good. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. and this uh, journal has that in it. I felt like, and it was verses that yeah. I felt spoke to us and you know, there it is there it is but check it out people it's on amazon just you know look for a kilted balls journal biblical journal Mm -hmm. it'll be awesome yeah yeah it was awesome like just going through and and helping proofread it like a lot of them did a lot of them hit with me and a lot of i was like okay i could you know this would be awesome to write here or there or just yeah i thought i thought you hit the mark I, i i was really happy with it um you know, and it was it was funny. It was one of those things where, like, the universe, like, I was doing it and kind of going through. And then, like, I stumbled a little bit here and there. And then finally, like, one day I'm working. I'm like, oh, you know what? It's done. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, I'm like, oh, but I wanted it to be like this. And then I sat there for, like, another few days. And I was like, no, it's, it's done. Like, you're not going to add anything mm-hmm. of value. It's done. You need to accept the fact that it's done and kind of move on, which was an interesting thing like you think this Mm -hmm. kind of sounds weird to people but you think you're in control right (laughs) (laughs) i mean you could have still gone on you didn't have to listen to that inner voice no no but i you wouldn't be where you are now if you would have spent your life not listening to that voice yes exactly exactly like it's important to listen to that inner voice and move from there Mm -hmm. right like that's a big thing i'm trying to think what it was with my little guy Recently, we were doing something and we were all like laughing because they're like, oh, he might have the gift too. And I'm like, it's important to listen. It's important mm-hmm. to listen, right? Like get yeah. into that silence and listen to what's in your heart and it'll it'll ring true. You'll you'll find the right way. Yep. So, yeah, no, that yep. was cool. I was talking to the boys today how, how awesome they're manifesting. And I, and I broke it down for Oliver. I'm like, you really wanted a dog. And like, look at you are you were, that's all you thought about. You were focusing on it. You were excited when you thought about it. Yeah. And you, you didn't say it had to be a puppy. It had to be like this or that. 
And I said, and look at it, you have a dog now. And there were a lot of roadblocks in the way. There are a lot of roadblocks mm-hmm. in the way, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. And that's exactly that's why it's so important to focus on that kind of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. I have a kiddo yeah. who I taught years and years ago, and it was funny because they were just like, I was just cracking up on Facebook. I love following them, but they were like, yeah, you know what? You, I'm, I want my own studio. I want my own studio. And so I'm just going to consider the fact that I have my own studio now. And I know it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And like lately they've been doing posts like, yeah, this is how I'm decorating my studio. This is what I'm doing with this. This is what I'm doing with this. Like they sound so sure that they've already got it. <laughs> I love that. And, and I'm like, that mm-hmm. is exactly like, don't doubt that. Like, don't doubt that. Like, mm-hmm. go after it. So mm-hmm. I think that's important because as we've talked about, you'll find the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Like, like you'll make the opportunity because that's your focus. If you focus on happiness, you find happiness. If you focus on negativity, exactly. you find negativity, right? Like yeah. When you're looking in that mirror, if you're waiting for the your reflection to smile first, you're going to be waiting for a long time. <laughs> you're going to wait so long, <laughs> so long. Speaking about smiling first, I've got an amusing story for you. That, awesome. That you're gonna you're gonna find amusing. So we have a I have like a new coach with me now for uh okay. for running and kind of like at the end of last year they like came and they were like hey you know can we talk about the schedule and moving things around you know I've heard you get sometimes particular about things I'm like nah not really I just don't like change right so like if you're gonna change stuff you, you gotta like work me <laughs> into it right like I'm older now, so, but they're like, okay, okay, and they're like, well, what about, like, this week doing this or this? I'm like, you know, I go, that week has, like, a big two-week gap, and I know some people don't like that, but I think that'll be good for training and good for this, and they're like, and they were like, yeah, I just don't like going two weeks without, like, a race, and I'm like, right, and they're like, what about if we, like, schedule a race in Birch Run, and I'm like, and to listeners, you probably don't know what Birch Run means, but it's like a little town you know, an hour or so away. And I'm like, listen, I go, you're getting really wrapped up all the time in little things. And Mm -hmm. we're, we're big. (laughs) We're big. We don't go to little places. We don't go to Birch Run. And I go, and I sure as heck, I'm not going to like mess up my flow to like go to Birch Run. Like that's kind of weird. And he's like, well, I think there'll be good teams and this or that. And, you know, maybe it'd be fun to do this. I'm like, listen, I go, I'd go, like, if we stopped at Tony's on the way back. And he's like, bah, ha, ha, okay, okay. Yeah, we, we can stop at Tony's. I'm like, okay, then book the meet. And so, like, this is the mm-hmm. week. And so, like, I went to him, like, on Monday, and I was like, hey, from your message, I didn't know if you were, like, super gung-ho about going to Tony's. So if you are really against it, we don't have to go, right? Like, it's going to mean mm-hmm. a late night for me, and I, I don't mind, like, coming back early. And he's like, wait, you were serious about that? And I'm like, I'm always serious. He's like, you are not always serious. I go, I'm always serious about food for sure. I go, sure, shit, I'm, I'm serious about food. I go, I said I was doing this meet to go to Tony's. And he's like, oh, my gosh, I didn't realize. He goes, yeah, I'd love to go to Tony's. I'm like, okay, good, then it's done. He goes, what do you mean it's done? I'm like, I already reserved the restaurant, and I already got approval. So, yeah, you can tell your people that. <laughs> He's like, you really were serious. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I don't mess around. <laughs> no, mess around. <laughs> well, and the big thing for me was a couple no. weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I was it's telling Tony's. the kiddos. Mm-hmm. But I was like, hey, I think we're going to go to Tony's at this meet. That Because they're like, why would we schedule this meet? Like, most of them think like me. Like, we go big, we go hard. And they're like, why are we scheduling this meet? And I'm yeah. like, because I want to go to Tony's. And they're like, what's Tony's? And I was like that's why we have to go. I go, we have to go because you guys don't know what Tony's is. I go, and that's just a sin. So we've got to go so you guys can mm-hmm. experience Tony's. So tonight we did. Tonight we did. We went to Tony's. They were Their eyes were like this. So like some of the things, people that they serve you at Tony's, it's it looks like a diner, right? Wouldn't you say Tony's looks like a, kind of like a, I don't know, like a dirty big boy. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I don't know how you phrase it, but you know, it's kind of a place and uh that but they have a BLT. They have a great BLT. I don't order it anymore. It used to be the only thing I ordered there, but it has a pound of bacon on it. Like literally oh, a wow. pound of bacon on the BLT. And the reason I don't order it anymore, listeners, is because I don't know if you've ever seen a pound of bacon put on a sandwich. Like people get mad when they go and they get a mm-hmm. BLT and it's like three pieces of bacon. It's this big. Like it's the size of your head <laughs> and you can't like eat it, right? And if the bacon's not done, like if they're in a rush or something, like you're pulling out long strands of bacon trying to eat it. Like it just... That's my favorite kind of bacon. <laughs> their, their omelets are nine egg omelets. That's their normal. So like wow. when you order omelets there, they're nine eggs. If you order your eggs scrambled, it says this in the menu, okay? It, it says like, you mm-hmm. know, here's all the scrambled egg choices. But it has a big thing like on the top and it says, just so you know, we don't count our scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> like we have no idea how many we're giving you. We don't count. <laughs> Because that's the kind of place it is, right? I had some kiddos at the end. They're like, we're ordering a banana split. It was like 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than my computer monitor. (laughs) (laughs) They're like, three of them are like, the whole team had to eat it, right? It was like this big. It was like, I don't know, four or eight bananas or something. And the ice cream was, it, was like It was top. bigger than a Dare to Be Great, though? No. It was no. bigger than a Dare to Be Great? Nope. Oh, okay. No. It was about half the size of a Dare to Be Great. Still, okay. So, right, because it was straight. So, it was like straight. Like a, yeah, okay. You know, because it's a, it's a banana split, right? Those are kind of like flat. Yeah. Whereas it's Dare to Be Great round, fills okay. a bowl. Yeah. So, You're right. Yep, okay. yep. Yeah. And so if, if well, is that still around? Is the parlor still around? I've heard Jackson? it is. I haven't been down there though. If you've yeah. ever uh, have a chance to go to Jackson, Michigan, the parlor, it stinks like they make their ice cream there and kind of leave it laying on the floor, <laughs> and they do. And it's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. They used to have one so at Michigan State. Great. Yeah, yeah, they opened the one up in East Lansing. I remember that. Yes, that was for awesome. A little bit, yeah. But yeah, in high school, I used to we'd we'd go. My girlfriend and I would go like get like two burgers. Oh no, you froze! There was he was definitely telling us people about two burgers. Oh, there he is! He's back! He's back! <laughs> All of a sudden, you stopped moving. I was like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. You you left us. You said we'd get two burgers, and then it was this. <laughs> uh, we get two burgers from Hot Now and then go to the parlor for dessert. Nice. So, nice. Make sure we eat a real meal first. I re- the, but, yeah. My favorite memory, and I don't even remember who all was with us, but when we went, we got a dare to be great, and then I had to ride in the bed of the pickup truck. <laughs> oh, <whole> way home. <laughs> I think I think Mike and Matt were there. Yes, I think so. Chris D was there. Us. Was there another girl? Was Amy there? I don't know. I'd have to ask her. That is crazy. I think Amy was there. But yeah, we had to ride in the back of the truck on the way. I was hurt so bad. You guys did the Dare to Be Great. I did not. <laughs> the Dare to Be Great is 31 scoops of ice cream, people. Right? I think it was 31. This, but the scoops are like <laughs> bigger than a softball, for yes. sure. Like small dodgeball. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard it was to silly. eat. It was hard to eat. Which is why I'm now lactose intolerant, right? I'm pretty sure it was the Dare to Be Great that pushed me over. That one trip. That day. Yeah, one trip. I mean, that was not the only time I got a dare to be great. So. It wasn't? You got other other times you'd gotten the dare to be great? Oh, yeah, yeah. You and I had gone before and gotten it. No, I I, don't th- I never got the dare to be great. I thought it would be disgusting. Well, let me rephrase like that. You were everything. with me. You were with me. Okay, okay. So, I'm pretty That's sure. very probable. Yeah, yeah, because that was like a thing. The right? memory gets foggy that many years ago well especially with that much sugar like we were in like diabetic comas (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> riding in the back of a pickup truck, bouncing the whole way back home. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe 127 is slightly nicer than it was then. It is slightly nicer. <laughs> it's not like 69. 69 is a world of hurt. Even yeah. now, even now, it's still so bad. But uh, well, I, I thought of something earlier I wanted to bring up, and I can't remember what it is now. It was about the reflection, but there was something. Uh, there was a something I wanted to say, or I wanted to get your take on it, but I'm not remembering now, so it makes me slightly sad. But nope, it's not coming to me. I thought <laughs> it would once I started it's, talking about it's it. It's gonna pop back into your head. Mm-mm. Oh, that's so sad. So sad. Well, maybe it will. But yeah, I mean, hearing hearing from people and and the things that that we're talking about that have helped us in aspects of our life that are helping others i think is i think is super awesome and it's you know we don't have thousands and thousands of listeners but the ones we have and you never know what the future brings we never set out to have thousands and thousands of listeners and and to be sponsored and everything even if we did i don't you know i was just talking about that because i forget one of the kids asked me about that i'm like i'm like we're not going to have commercials no, like it's you know, I, I, we want someone to listen and then get stopped halfway through. Hey, have you had the new? I mean, I'll. I'll Hi, you stuff, need to vote for Kamala Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's been popping up on my stuff. Like, why am I listening to this? I'm not that target audience. No, no. So, yeah. So it's what's been, it's been a lot of fun. Can you give us like your top? I don't know, two favorite memories. Or favorite lessons that you've learned in the three years? I think that that going through the going through the bear market and 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 looking back, I haven't gone back and listened since then, but I can remember some of the things that were going on mm-hmm. and and I think in my life, if I'm What's the word? Because it's, it's not really in malice. Okay, here's a good example. Uh, someone I used to listen to that talked a lot about crypto, and he talked about making the mistake of not selling and pulling everything out near the top. Mm-hmm. He wrote everything down, and then he built back up the next cycle. And I was like, to myself, I didn't. I don't think I said it out loud. If I did, I don't remember. But, oh, he was being silly. Why wouldn't you do that? So I I find in my life when I make a judgment like that mm. on somebody, that's a lesson I need to go through. <laughs> I did <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't pull, I didn't sell any, I didn't pull anything. I actually I take that back. I sold a little bit, you know, after things started going down. But that was that. It sell everything like I had planned on. So like actually just the other day I was in the shower and I thought about that and I was like, that's so funny that I had to go through that experience. And there's other like that was a that was a good like a, a good learning experience for me because I had to I had to learn some more things and I had to go through those steps as opposed to I don't know, opposed to pulling it all out on top and then just like it would almost be like not a worry in the world. Not that I worry now, yeah. but I have to do some things. Like I have to, you know, make sure I'm working and this and that, and, and sending orders as opposed to, oh, well, you know, whatever. Right. But, uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a fun process to go through that, and I think that's one thing in my life that I that I really need to watch out for is to not judge others, even if it's just internally, for mistakes that they made. Or silly things in my mind that they had done because they had to go through that process. So I don't have to go through that. Is well. <laughs> yeah, listen to them, don't judge them. Listen to them, don't judge. Yes, right? exactly. exactly. Yeah. So I think mine is interesting. Um, I think I think there were two big things I took from our last three years. Right. I, there were so many people, so it's really hard to like narrow down to yes. two. But as we're talking about like crypto, because that's where we started with, one of the the mm-hmm. big things was I did not, and I'm still surprised by it, that NFTs 
took the tumble that NFTs took. They had so much potential for greatness and they might go back to greatness. We used to say all the time in episodes, all NFTs are going to fail. They're all going to be zero. Take your money while you can. We knew it. But I really thought there were Mm -hmm. so many use cases that even if it canceled, it would continue to grow and grow and grow, right? So, like, the ones we had would all be zero, Mm -hmm. but I thought there would be new ones that were better and better and better. And, you know, even now with AI, I'm like, oh, my gosh, they could be doing so much, and they're just not. Like, the use case hasn't come to fruition like I thought it would. And part of the reason that is, and this is the jaded part of me, Mm -hmm. Web3 had so much potential. After VCon 1, everybody was talking about how we were designing the new world of Web3 and we were making it this utopia of how we wanted it to be because we were in control Mm -hmm. and we could not control the bad actors. The bad actors were still bad actors. They still took advantage of people. They're still taking advantage of people, just like they do every time. And we we couldn't make a system that was utopia. Like like we couldn't do it. We needed to put in the rules, put in the regulations, be the jerks that we hate, Right, because we're degens, right? We're degens. Mm-hmm. We don't like all those rules, but we have yeah. to do the rules because people are bad actors, and we couldn't get them past them. We thought that humanity was ready for it, and they weren't. Right, so that that was like my mm-hmm. one of my big learning experiences was I went from, hey, there is so much power in these NFTs, not as art, like that's powerful too, but not as art, but as mm-hmm. a tool. And we never did that, and it was because of the bad actors made it made it too harsh. And so that was like one where I think I've like gone back and forth, and now I'm like, yeah, like people are dicks, right? Like, and that's mm-hmm. sad. And I tell my kiddos all the time, I'm like, people are dumb. Like you've got to realize people are dumb. And I'm like, individuals are not. Individuals are mm-hmm. wonderful and brilliant and smart and caring and everything you want them to be. People are not. People people are dumb. Mm-hmm. People are not. And you've got to oh, acknowledge it. You've got to own it and work with the person, not the people, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that, that was like a big one. Um, the other thing was I learned... And this is something we've talked about so much, but not in this context. But it's it holds true no matter where you are. <laughs> you you are the enemy, not you, Kilted. Yeah. You like no, you're your, right. Your own person is your your opponent. And I know we've heard it at VCon, and we've heard people talk about it. But like I think when we were trading crypto, when I'm trading stocks, when I'm running my businesses, when I'm writing my books, when I'm doing whatever, I'm the problem. Like I'm always, I'm always the problem. There is no bigger problem than me, right? I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm my biggest obstacle all the time. The, the doubting you or the, the, or you, bad or evil you, but just the one who's like whispering, like, oh, this, you know. Well, not even that. Like, be doing like even like, um, like here's a great one. Like when you and I have done crypto, we'll be like, okay, if we follow these ten rules. We're going to make shit tons of money. We're going to make shit tons of money. We follow the 10 rules. And then we're like, oh, we lost mm-hmm. money. Why? Well, I didn't follow rule four. Oh, we lost money. Why? Uh-huh. I didn't follow rule five. Like, yeah. we caused that, right? So not just the doubting, but even just the like just the day-to-day. Like, we know what's right. And we've talked about that. You, mm-hmm. know, you know what you're supposed to be doing, right? I yeah. know I'm supposed to go for runs. I, I know mm-hmm. that's a thing. I haven't run besides, like, from point to point in, like, months. Mm-hmm. Like, I know I'm supposed to. I know I have yeah. to do that, and I don't. Like, I'm the problem. And it's interesting because I think, like, as I'm dealing with, like, my kiddos and all of that, I remember being in their spot and not recognizing that it was me and thinking it was everybody else, right? Like, 
You're yeah. the problem. You're the one who messed me up. I'm too busy. Mm -hmm. My boss gives me too much work. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I don't. And I think now that we're older, the big realization yeah. is no, 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 no. None of that. None of that matters. Mm -hmm. I'm the. I'm the problem. <laughs> Yeah. As Taylor Swift says, I'm the problem. It's me. Hi. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That and my second one is is very close to that as well. Is is one of the things, especially coming on here, and it is almost like a journal where we're we're getting these feelings out. We're yes. talking about this. You know, you're my, you're my best friend, which is awesome. I think people can sense a great chemistry between us. But it's just like trying to be in the moment more and it's one thing that i've learned a lot like i really pay attention to now i'm really focusing on it like for one trying to find all the positives around me i like to I, i've always been a person not always been a person but since we've been doing this event i'm very full of gratitude i'm very much thankful for everything i'm very good at that stuff but but being in the moment being here being now you know interacting with the kids interacting with gina like that has grown so much and it's it's part it's 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 doing this it's a lot of these episodes where we've talked about those little things and and something that had occurred to me more recently like come into a, a bigger picture to where you know i feel that i've really grown a lot in that aspect so i'm super thankful about that no and i think you're right like us talking about this stuff like makes us better humans right because we're like oh we need to be more grateful like that's the key and then we're we start being more grateful right and mm -hmm. people if you don't watch our minis like we talk about a lot of this stuff on our minis right like i'll be like oh my gosh the day is just beautiful you've got to be happy about the day like i think you could get a lot mm -hmm. more if and we need to record more but i think our minis are yeah more of those powerful messages and little little bites but yeah okay yeah new good. question because we're gonna run out of time because you know that's right. what we do. But new question. 200 episodes from now. You know the question. 200 episodes mm -hmm. from now. What are you hoping you can like look back at? And I, I get this is a hard question, right? But like, mm -hmm. you know, when we're sitting there going, I am so glad that this is the lesson I learned over the last 200 episodes in three more years i'm so glad i learned this these things or you know what's the thing where well, where's tilted balls going to be in three years this goes back to what we talked about right at the beginning i have no expectations mm -hmm. i imagine we'll still be doing it i don't see like one of us getting bored and just pulling the plug right you know because that's all it would take is like well there's a there's an old saying i forget what it is but it's like the first time it like it like you don't do something you have a valid excuse like it's a really really good excuse to not do it the second time is like meh but then after that it's just like oh my i found a hair on my pillow today you know it's just anything would do and then it just falls apart <laughs> so yeah i, have, I, have I feel targeted there i feel targeted <laughs> what could hair on your pillow because no because that's what i that's what i do like with everything like i tell people that like when i was knocking on doors like the first time it was kind of hard to not knock on doors the next time cow would be mm -hmm. like hey it's hot out i'm like you're right. Oh, yeah, we it's did talk about that. <laughs> well, my mentor when I was when I was doing Quickstar back in the day, he talked about that, and that's exactly how it happened. How I got out of that the first time, I had a great to not be there. Right. And then, the, then I, I, it's funny because I thought about it like as it was happening, I was like, oh, this end of like yes. <laughs> the second excuse is is not as good as the first one, but. Uh, if somebody doesn't have the heart to go to continue with it and that's part of just following your excitement like be oh that's what i want to talk about thank you for asking this so i listened to a mini today and it was super it I, I, okay let me say let me say in 200 years i would love to hear from i would love it 
like to hear from more of our listeners how we've helped them positively. That would be like to look back on that it would be amazing for me. But uh, a person, actually, it was Jim Carrey, was talking about the difference between sadness and depression. And I can't remember exactly how it went. Did I lose you again? No, I can hear okay, you, you, but not see second. you. Okay. So sadness, you're just kind of, you're sad. Something happened where, you know, your dog died or whatever. You can be sad. But depression, and he broke it down to the meaning of it. But it's like your authentic self saying, F you, like, I'm sick of acting like this. This is not you. So you go into that state of depression. It was super interesting take on depression. Nice. It's your, it's your greater consciousness coming at you, being like, this, you're, this is not who you are, so you need to kind of do a little reset. Yeah, so yeah. It was just a, it was a super, super interesting, and I loved it. A little reset to be the person who you are. Yeah, I like that, and I'm 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 digging I'm digging your 200 episodes from now. I agree. If if I could have something in those 200 episodes, it would be that when we're doing episodes 400, we if we were like, hey, we want you guys to give us shout outs about what you've learned, and we've got you know 50, 100 people who are like, hey, this is what I got, this is what I got, this is what we did, like to get to help people like that. That would that's the dream right there. That's the dream. So. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Love that. Awesome. All right, people, we are at the end of our time. Um, thank you so much. It's been a great 200 plus episodes. We hope you'll stay with mm -hmm. us for 200 more. Right. Um, hit the subscribe. Hit the comments. Message us on Twitter. Tell your friends. Tell your families. Tell your church. Come out. Be with us. You know, give us advice. Mm -hmm. We're ready to grow as well. So that'd be also yes, cool. Like exactly. 200 episodes from now, I'm like, this is what I learned from so many of our listeners. Like, that'd be fantastic. Mm -hmm. That'd be so exactly. good. Exactly. That'd be exactly. great. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for everything, people. This is Kilted. Well, this is Ballbuster signing off. <laughs> <laughs> Kilted Dragon Dare. Love you all.